Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we are going to be doing a final review here of Linux Mint Debian Edition with Kernel 418 and Plasma 512. Yes, I have been stretching this Linux Mint Debian Edition quite as far. It almost feels like Gumby. Uh, but I want to talk about this build a little bit. Uh, so, of course, I started with Linux Mint Debian Edition for a couple weeks. And I said in that video that I like Cinema. It's my favorite desktop environment for a basic production computer, but it's not my favorite for uh, just doing the type of things this particular computer does, which is uh, quickly doing things like quickly spotting weathers, calendars, quickly jumping back and forth between whether I'm opening a, a writer document, a calc uh, spreadsheet, or editing a file, uploading videos, downloading videos, just basic things like that. And so, I really, uh, I really like the KDE desktop environment, so I wanted to see if can I get Plasma running on this. Now, Plasma had some early issues, so we were our, off to a, uh, a rough start, and partly because the Debian stretch repos has an older version of Plasma. I think it's 5.8, um, if I remember correctly, and there were some issues with that. One of the major issues is if I booted up Dolphin, which of course is the... Uh, the main file manager here, I would not get my network shares. Um, now that I actually have, um, now that I've actually upgraded this to 5.12, network shares does show up automatically so I can actually access my network. This is good because what I was doing prior to this is I would literally have to, uh, if I needed to access network shares, it was just easier for me to go in and literally boot up Nemo, which of course is still on here because of um, running the entire system as uh, uh, it's built on Cinnamon. So of course I'd use Nemo to get in here, which I like Nemo way better as a file manager, but as far as running Nemo when uh, I'm running KDE, if I want to stick with my theme, uh, definitely you can see that the KDE is definitely the more attractive thing. I do like the way Nemo works quite a bit better. I think it's less bulky, less... Um, it, it just, it's faster, snappier, less problematic. I like Nemo better, um, although Dolphin does look much snappier. Um, so fortunately upgrading to Plasma 5.12 resolved that for me. Um, and now I can actually use Dolphin for everything. So I get a good consistent user experience. Of course, when I first did the review, you can remember that thumbnails were not working. You can see now that thumbnails are actually working, including if I wanted to configure the desktop. Uh, you can see that now my uh, these thumbnails are working as well. So let me actually look at a few of these. I would like that picture if it wasn't so blurry. Uh, this chess one here is pretty sweet also. Look at this chess one. So that's actually pretty nice. And this guy here is another very attractive one for this desktop. So uh, I really like these darker wallpapers for this desktop build, but uh, all right, let's go back to this one, which is still probably my favorite, but now you can see that that functionality works. That was resolved by adding one of the packages that uh, I'm forgetting which package it is again. One of you viewers, thank you very much for pointing me to that package. Need to install that. Thumbnails worked just fine. Um, and then, of course, I managed to find a script that um, basically was able to upgrade the system up to uh, Plasma 5.12. So uh, if you want to have a look at what the system looks like now, we are running Linux Mint Debian Edition 3, codenamed Cindy. We are running Plasma version 5.12.7, KDE Framework 5.46, Qt version 5.7. The kernel is 4.18, and we are on an AMD A8 5500 and 5 gigs of RAM. Technically 6, but, you know, a gig has been stolen by the <laughs> internal um, drivers. I really love this setup. It's very nice. Um, as far as how the functionality of the system works, uh, there's really a, a couple things. First is on startup. I am constantly an, um, annoyed by the barrage of KDE startup things. I haven't figured out where they are to disable. Um, I need to go ahead and do that. Uh, since I only start the computer like once a day, it's like, eh, 
It's easier to just push cancel and not worry about it. <laughs> if it were a production computer I was carrying around with me, like on a laptop, I'd take the time to resolve it. Uh, the other thing is that unlike Cinnamon, anytime I load up Chromium or Skype and sometimes Thunderbird, kind of hit and miss, it wants the password before it will continue to unlock the key ring. Cinnamon unlocks the key ring automatically on login. Um, KDE doesn't. Maybe you might argue KDE could be more secure, but less, in, uh, less convenient. Um, I still have the problem with Chromium not being able, able to upload the thumbnails to YouTube when I'm doing that. Um, and also, I noticed that my bug is back with Firefox where I cannot bookmark files again. I was trying to think about what that could possibly be until I watched Chris Ware's video on this. And, of course, he m mentioned here that this is running an older version of Firefox. And since my last profile was built on a newer version of Firefox... I'm thinking that this is probably the issue. If I were to upgrade this Firefox to the latest um, latest Firefox that's not an ESR, I would probably um, I would probably be working again. So I'm not going to bother rebuilding my profile. I'm going to just wait until I move on or install another uh, Firefox here and see if that resolves the issue. I bet that it is that the other profile was built on a newer version of Firefox, and so it's, there's some incompatibility somewhere. So those are really those issues. Of course, Skype every now and again, when I go to use Skype, it will uh, it'll come in, it'll boot up, and then it'll log itself out. Kind of annoying. Um, and it seems to be more random than anything. So um, that is, I'm not sure if I'm going to call that a bug or what it is, maybe an annoyance. Really, the only bug that I've observed is working with Cody. Of course, I jumped back and forth between Kodi and other things on the system quite a lot. And sometimes I'm watching something on Kodi and then I need to jump back into the desktop. So I'll hit my, um, uh, if you hit your backslash button, then it will, um, it'll convert Kodi from the, the desktop environment mode into the windowed mode. And on any time I've run KDE on Debian, Kodi has had problems interfacing uh, booting up and shutting down sometimes. So kind of randomly, sometimes my mouse works and sometimes it doesn't in Kodi. Sometimes the keyboard works and sometimes it doesn't in Kodi. Fortunately, if one goes down, the other is still up. Um, so I can generally resolve the issue. But a lot of times if I boot into Kodi on KDE, I cannot exit Kodi. It's gonna, it goes back to the main desktop and it's really fouled up. I can't do anything on the computer. Now that is the same error that I've seen on my other Debian KDE build. It does not occur on Cinnamon. And so if I'm using this computer and I know I'm going to be in Kodi a lot, then I'll generally boot the computer into Cinnamon rather than into KDE because I will know I will have a smoother transition. So bottom line, Linux Mint Debian Edition, Cinnamon is way more stable than KDE, uh, way less annoying than KDE, works a lot better than KDE. But if you really love it, you can run KDE on top of this system. So overall, my experience has been very good. If the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint Debian Edition went away, uh, I wouldn't have a whole lot of qualms about going to this. Um, and really, that's what I have to say about it. I love the theming. I love the build out, uh, just the way the, the system looks. Um, some people, of course, don't like this type of uh, setup, but... Uh, uh, you can see I, I have it set, uh, you know, uh, dark themes. Um, I have some slight translucency and transparency and, you know, in the menus and in the in the widget themes that's brought in from the different themes. And I love this type of this type of icon style. I just love the way it looks. To me, this is an attractive looking desktop. I know some of you guys like, you know, more modern, more flat, more material, whatever. Um, but for me, who looks at computers all day long, I like something that's attractive. And to me, this is attractive. It may not be for everybody. So that's kind of my thoughts on this. So where do we go from here? Are we ready to wipe this out? Not yet, because there's two other requests that I've had. And if you guys have further requests, I will consider those as well. But the two I'd like to experiment with is, number one, can I install GNOME on this? 
Um, now, of course, if you know, that's not my favorite desktop environment, but I did watch a video the other week about uh, GNOME as a process, how you would use it a little bit differently than other systems. And people say once you get used to it, it's really nice. So I want to try and commit to getting used to it. I want to learn the, the shortcut keys. I want to utilize the window mode and um, try that out. So since somebody asked, can you get GNOME working on this? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see what happens. And who knows, maybe it'll work and maybe it'll be like, oh, this is really cool. Maybe I like the setup. Maybe it'll be more stable than, than KDE and can do everything I need it to do. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and figure that out. The other request that I had that I think would be an interesting one is can I enable the testing repos on top of this so I'd have a Linux Mint Debian edition with uh, Debian testing instead of Debian stable. Now some people have asked why is the Linux Mint team gone with Debian stable and not Debian testing? Because their philosophy is stability and Debian stable is not likely to break anytime soon. Um, versus testing could. There's a greater chance of testing breaking, although they're both reasonably stable. So I think those are two new projects I want to work with on this before I wipe uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition off of this. If you have other ideas for me to consider, uh, leave those in the comments and uh, let me know what you think of this build, the desktop, um, Debian, Linux Mint Debian Edition, or any or all of the combinations. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.